My wife accused me of being a transvestite, so I packed her things and left. <laughs> Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. A lot of people are messaging about problems with audio when you're clicking different links. Now sometimes they're finding that the audio isn't working at all and sometimes the audio is out of sync. So when one person's talking, the sound doesn't marry up to the movement of the mouth. The movement of the mouth. <laughs> So in this video, I'm going to show you the most common ways you can fix these issues. So right, that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so I'm going to start by saying if you know any other fixes that I don't mention in this video, do comment them down below so anybody watching this video can go down to the comments section if none of these fixes work and find another method they can try to fix it. Audio issues seem to be becoming very popular with your movie and TV show apps. And a lot of people are messaging saying how can they fix it. So let's jump over and show you the most common ways to fix your audio issues, your audio not working and your audio being out of sync. So let's jump over. My own sound effect. <laughs> right, so I'm on the 4K Fire Stick, but this is going to work the same for any device that you're watching content on. First of all, I'm going to show you the fixes that you can try and then I'm going to show you where you can get the apps from that we use inside this video. So first of all, whichever movie and TV show app that you do use, if you open the menu and click on settings, it's going to come up like this most of the time. And you just want to find something that says choose default player. And you will find most of the time it's set to EXO player, which is a built-in Android player. But this is where a lot of the issues are coming from. And now what we're going to do, we're just going to change the external player. And like I said, I'll show you where to get these in a moment. So we'll choose VLC player, but MX player and VLC player will do the same thing. But there are a couple of added perks inside MX player. But well, VLC player is smaller, it is a bit faster I've found, so if I click on that you can see now VLC is set to the default player. And then every time you click play on a link, it will open directly into VLC player. And a lot of the time people have found this is all they've had to do to fix any audio issues when they're watching content. But sometimes you may need to do a little bit more, but MX player is the best one for that. So if I click on MX player, and now you can see the default player is set to MX. And then we're going to quickly start to search for a link. Now I'm just going to give it a couple of moments. And once it's found links, obviously the different coloured links, they are real debrid links. And the white ones are free links. So if I click on a real debrid link, what you can do without changing in settings is go to play with, and then it'll show you all the different media player apps you've already got installed on your device. <sighs> Big breath, big breath. But we set the default player to MX player so we can play that directly and it'll go straight into MX player as you can see there. Right, I'm going to pause that quickly just so it doesn't show any much content and I don't get into trouble. But if you find that the audio isn't working, then what you can do is you see a HW button at the top there. And it's got a little white circle around it. If I click on that, you can change the decoder and this can fix audio. But sometimes you may still have issues with the sync. Now, not your kitchen sync, your audio sync, and synchronization being where the lips don't match and it pisses you off. So now I'll quickly play it just to see that it is in sync. I told her I had a major paper due. Other As you can see, the lips are matching, everything's all right with it. But if it isn't working like it should be, you see the three line, um, the three dot button this time, not three lines. You see that at the top, click on that. Go to Tools, Settings, and there you see an audio option. If you find that the volume is really low, you can click on an Enable Volume Boost, which will increase the volume inside MX Player. But if you keep scrolling down, you're going to see an option that says Audio Delay. And when we click on this, at the moment it's set to 0.0 which means there's no audio delay set at all. Now it is worth noting if you clear all of this, it doesn't allow you to put the decimal back in, so you would need a keyboard for that. But I need to exaggerate it for this video so you can see the difference. But usually 0.5 seconds would do the trick. Now I'm going to change it to 2 seconds. When I click on next, now the audio delay is set to 2 seconds, so I click on OK. 
If I click back on that, you will see it still says the same. Another thing to note, which I did forget to mention, is set audio delay time for audio synchronization. It may not be used with HW Coder. So if we go back, we need to click on the HW button and change it to one of these two options, which I'll do now. And then when I click on play, the audio will not match at all because we've put a massive delay on it. As you can see there, there's a massive delay. So when it comes to audio sync, that is awesome. It's an awesome app. MX Player is absolutely mint. And the things that you can do inside it are awesome. Right, so now I'm going to show you where you can get these players from. So if you're on the 4K Fire Stick, you're going to want to install download it onto your device. If you're using a mobile phone or an Android box, you're just going to want to open your normal web browser like Google Chrome, Puffin TV or something like that. If you're on a 4K Fire Stick, I'm guessing you've already got this done. But if you go to Settings and My Fire TV, make sure inside Developer Options, your apps from unknown sources is turned on. Now in the top left hand corner, you're going to see a search icon. Type in Downloader or DAO and underneath you will see it say Downloader. And that's the app you want to install. If it doesn't download and install, it's because you've got no bank details set up to your Amazon device. <laughs> it's a bit shady because they are free to use and download, but sometimes they require you have bank details set up to be able to use the store. Right, so I always go into my applications by going to settings, then applications, manage installed applications. Then you scroll down until you see downloader. I do it this way because it allows me to force stop your crashing apps and clear your data, your cache and things. I'm going to launch Downloader. When it loads up, a very important step, in fact it's a must, is you must allow the permissions. Otherwise you're going to start getting error connection or error no connection and stuff like that. So we're going to click allow. And it's going to ask you to enter a website. Now, if you're using an older version of Downloader, go left into Settings and make sure JavaScript is enabled. So now the website you're going to want to enter is letscrackon.org. So letscrackon.org, like I said, if you're using a mobile phone or an Android box, you're just going to type that into your normal web browser. If you're using Downloader on a Fire Stick, letscrackon.org, and then we're going to click on Go. Give it a few moments and then you're going to see the three line button, hamburger menu, whatever it is you want to call it. We're going to click on that and then we're going to click on downloads. Now there's a shit ton of stuff in here that you can download. There's maintenance tools, there's media players, free VPNs, there's app stores, there's loads in here. Everything you're going to need. But today we're looking at media players. So scroll down and the blue bar that says media players there. For this one, we will be installing MX Player. So if I click on that, and then scroll down until I see the download button, and then once I click on that, it should start downloading. If you do get an error, do click download again and it should work. We're going to click on install. I have no idea why the icon does look a bit different now, but I'm going to click install again. And sometimes people are seeing it says app not installed. And this is because you're trying to install an app that's already installed on your device. So even if it's a different version, it still may say app not installed. So make sure you delete any previous versions. So I'm going to click on done. And then make sure you hit delete and delete again. If you do forget to do this, you can go to files on the left hand side, long hold it and then click on delete. This will save a lot of storage on your device. And then one last tip before we go across, on the downloads page on the top right hand corner, if you click on this you can save the current page to your favourites. Don't know what I was saying then. <laughs> so if you go down and click on save, to stop you having to type it in all the time every time you open download, you click on favourites. And there's a downloads page and it'll go direct there. So you've got no need to keep typing in the different websites. And then if we scroll down to M, you should see MX Player. And then when we launch, we only need to launch the application once. Just to allow the permissions. It needs to be allowed to access your different apps and things. So we're going to click on allow. And that's the only time you're going to need to open MX Player. And then simply go into whichever app it is that you use to stream content. Go into the settings and change the default media player to MX player. And that's it, you're done. 
Now, I know this fix isn't going to work for every single person, but it's going to work for 99% of you. And MX Player is an awesome app. And I've also noticed a couple of other videos on audio issues, which was from Streaming News and Lee TV. You can go and check those out as well if you don't have success with the tips I've just shown you. Now, let's jump over to me. Back in studio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, so hopefully these fixes helped you and they worked for you. If they didn't, do comment down below. And like I said, if you know any other fixes, do comment those down below as well. And yeah, if this video helps at least five people, it was worth making. Right, so that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Sarah.